Like, like that same amount of work. No. We do have to no. talk about beans. No, no. Let's no. talk about beans. Like, like you can't even go from Fresh Prince and Jazzy Jeff to beans. But a lot of people ain't even know. I, you know, I mean, people I know, that know that beans was from yeah. Philly and didn't know Jazzy Jeff was, was from Philly. Different eras. I didn't even Jazzy know Jeff that. And and I was in that era. I didn't even Jazzy know Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince were the guys that were boycotting the Grammys before that shit was popular. Can we talk about beans? What? Can we talk about beans? Beans should have more respect. For Charlemagne, no, for the people in Philly, that shouldn't happen to him. Oh no, the people, oh, people outside oh, of Philly yeah, beat yeah, him yeah, up. Yeah, that should never happen. Yeah, that should never happen. I told him in the interview, like that should never happen to you in Philly. Hell Philadelphia. no, okay. you. So nah, for people, he put Philly on the back. Everybody knows, but I imagine. But he got knocked out in Philly. Then he came on the Breakfast Club. You guys had a very interesting conversation. One point five million views in a day on I YouTube. Loved it. Oh, I, 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 I oh. never listened to the Breakfast Club interviews, and uh-huh. I listened to this one, and I thought you were phenomenal uh-huh. at it. Um, at keeping your cool, chilling, and um, no, at, at keeping your ego in check. Men have egos, right? And no, we don't. Well, no, men have egos. I don't. No. Well, not maybe you're situation. not. You're not all men. I've that? told you that before. You have to transcend your ego. So like your ego is, means nothing so, to you. So you agree with what I say? <laughs> what? You you the worst. No, bro. I said. Motherfucker, you said go, you on. kept your ego in check. You don't listen. You don't listen. <laughs> you don't listen. You said all men have egos. I said no, they don't. You know why? Because I don't. I and said I, men have egos. And I said, no, I, they don't because I, I don't have one. So you're the exception. Yes. That's, the ego. that's why I'm complimenting okay. you. I would never right. compliment you for having some shit everybody has. You got, got two you. hands, Charlemagne. Fucking way to go. I got you. <laughs> you really do it with your two hands. Okay. So, Emotional men have egos. Insecure men have yes. egos. Bro. People, that, people that don't really believe in themselves have egos. Like yeah. People who give you death threats when you talk shit about Philly. Those people. That's not true. These nah, motherfuckers might really, really kill you. Yeah, they will. They might really kill you. It's a real Thing no, that can happen. You. you can't take death threats lightly. They there might, yeah, they might well really done. get at you. Well done, hip hop. Good job. But I mean, we th- live up to the stereotypes, hip hop. Good my, shit. Well done, so guys. My, my, with my thing with the Beanie Siegel situation is this: I, I, had, I don't know how to handle feelings without murdering people. <laughs> Some people like that, though. Stop playing I'm a with them. Child. But <laughs> what, talking about you're doing, you're, you're, you're doing, you're doing to them what do, people are doing to Donald Trump in the media. Which is just because I say I'm going to kill you, don't mean I'm actually going to do it. Get somebody else to do it. No, what do you mean? I believe that they'll kill me. So okay, so you believe Donald Trump will grab a pussy? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Definitely. But I think I think sometimes it's really it's really just words. But you do have to take the words serious. Okay. But we can't indict people just strictly based off their words. I think you if should. I think you should be you, aware. If somebody gives you a death threat, I think it's yeah. Be aware. Go, I think they might do that. Absolutely. I mean, be anybody. aware. Yeah. You should anybody definitely right be aware. Now. Yeah. You know, but you know, Beanie, that's Beanie. that's pretty much it for me. What do you mean? I think that's pretty much it for me. I can't treat the person like they actually did it until they do it. That's the sad part. Police will tell you that if you call a mother, if you call them for some shit, they'll be like, "Well, it is, you know, not, we can't do anything about it right now until something, until something actually yeah. happens." Which is weird, but this ain't Minority Report. No, I can't just right. arrest you. You're right. I can't just arrest you for because you said something because you, yeah. you thought about well, something. Well, you can arrest someone for threats. If somebody threatens, I think so. Yeah, life, terroristic threats. No, you absolutely you can't. Can. Nah, you absolutely can. You I thought you can probably go talk to you. Not, a, not an arrest, but you can get a uh, what's it called? A uh, uh, they come talk to you. They can't. They can't be in five hundred feet of you. What is that? Shit okay. About? Oh, you get a um, restraining order. Restraining order. You can do I'm those done. types of things. I had that before. Yeah, Listen, of course. But thing, no, can we go back to the beanie <laughs> interview, please? Yeah, I mean the thing with beanie is simple. Like I had an opinion about his, you know, uh, interview with Tax Stone. And right. You know, people piss me off, and they're like. Oh, you just saying that because of what he said about you on Tax Stone's podcast. I don't know. That didn't facts. bother me at all. Yeah, what he said all on Tax Stone's yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. What I what I respond I responded uh, to what he said on Tax Stone's podcast here on Brilliant Idiots when Miko was here. Okay. And that was that. Like I I got love for beans now, but when I heard Tax Stone's interview, look, man, for everybody out there that thought that was some real shit that he was spitting and they loved what he said, I didn't feel that way. No, I, we, I heard. We discussed I, it. I heard was, hatred. Our feelings was hurt. Heard. I heard hatred. I heard envy. I heard jealousy, and I heard somebody who's who's snakish and can't be trusted. That's my that, favorite rapper too. That's it. Nothing more. Yeah, nothing less. That's yes. how I felt. Yeah. So if I'm going to express that on the Brilliant Idiots podcast, why wouldn't I express that to Beanie when he when he came to the show? Absolutely. Like somebody told me this morning, oh, you just did this the trend. How the fuck did I know I was going to trend? <laughs> I did this because that's what men should do. Now, Word up. how did how do you res- respond to? Someone who's pointing in your face, someone who calls you a bitch, someone who is using words that are pretty uh, defamatory. Like, how do you... It's simple. When you're talking to somebody... Well, I'm talking to Beanie, right? If you pay attention to the interview, mm-hmm. Beanie goes, you said you're a coward or whatever. You made little mama cry. Fredro chumped you. All I simply responded was, but I'm talking to you now. Yeah. 
I'm talking to you. I just yeah. called you a hater. I called you a hater to your face. Yeah, yeah. You said that you're a hypocrite. I'm talking to you. Yeah. So, so, if, you, so, so, so if, he, if, 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 if I'm those things, then why am I having this conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. with you now? See, that's why that stuff don't bother me. But what I'm saying is how do you keep your ego checked? Like there's this part of you, like there's the part of you that this was the most impressive thing for me of the interview, right? Was that part of every guy that goes, oh, you're trying to make me look like a pussy? Well, I'm going to I'm gonna show you that I'm not a pussy. I'm going to fuck you up. You kept that in check throughout the interview. I don't have nothing to prove. Like who who, who am I proving that to? Who am I proving I'm not pussy to? I know I'm not pussy. Shouldn't yeah, that be enough? Yes, shouldn't yes, that be yes, enough for, yes. for an individual? You went through it so many times. Like how many times yeah. are you gonna react off that one now? Like, like there on. was it was there was a point in the interview where he's like he's like you're not qualified. He's like like listen, I got attempted murder while I was in the of my career, and like you could have easily said, listen, I've had. I don't know if you had a... Assault and battery with intent to kill. Point I've had, in the firearm. You, you, said, you yeah. could have said, I've had intent to kill Charles. That's corny. Yeah, but I said, but well, that's going to do that. I'm not going to match you felony yeah, that's to corny. felony. Good job, buddy. That's lame. Good job. Yeah. Like, that's what yeah, you got to on. stand on? Like, I don't want at come the on. end of my life, or not even at the end of my life, yeah. now in my life, I got other things to stand on. I'm, I, I got a nationally syndicated radio show in 70 plus markets. I'm executive producing mad TV shows, MTV, VH1, wherever. I've yeah. had several TV shows. I got a book coming out. I got kids. I got a wife. Yeah. Felonies? <laughs> I, I got to stand on those? That's, that's yeah, my, that's my that, those are my awards. That's my yeah, merit. That's what, yeah. I got a tempted merit. Like, who gives a shit? Yeah, beat it. That's not, a, that's not something to stand on. You know understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, so I don't give a fuck about that. Like, that's like, yeah, I, supposed to be more intelligent. That's why I just gave him a round of applause. Like, no doubt. Yeah. So are you saying that that's what people in Philly should do when I criticize Philly? No, they're going to throw tomatoes at you. Ass. No, no, no. Not what they're going to do. Okay. What they should do. Should they have that same security? No, no, same? no. They should be who they are and come after your ass. Yeah. Thank you, X. They should. No, You're they just should. trying to get yourself a security job. <laughs> <laughs> if shit. you need me to come. <laughs> this, this is the thing. This is the thing about... This is the thing about uh, but no, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to say. Like, no, I I'm think with you. I'm a with you. Learning lesson from this, which is, if you know who you the, are the, at your core, yeah. it doesn't matter what somebody says about you. Yeah. Like we always say, you can only feel. Uh, you can only feel. What is it? Offended by something you're insecure about. Yeah. That's, that's a fact. And people's yeah. mind. This is the. Th this is the main thing that I learned yeah. from this whole situation. People's yeah. minds are warped about what real is. Real for so long in our culture has been attached to being street, being gangster, being criminal. It is a difference between being real and being criminal. That's what I talked to Beanie about in the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Being real to me is when you say something about a person, you know, behind their back and when they're not there, yeah. you say the same thing to them. Don't change it up. That's being real. I don't yeah. give a fuck how many people you beat up. Yeah. I don't care how many people you shot. That don't make you a real person. It just doesn't. Yeah. It just doesn't. It make oh yeah, he'll fight you. Yeah, he'll cheat you, but you might be the most snakish motherfucker in the world. Mm -hmm. Your character mm -hmm. might be terrible. You might be the most untrustworthy person in the world. Would you rather have, you know, a dude on your team who can beat mad people up but when he's with you he's telling you one thing well, that somebody, somebody said about you but when he's back. with somebody else wow. he's telling you know that person mm. things about you mm. what would you wow. rather have would you rather have a real genuine individual on your team that you know you can trust that you know that's gonna always be real with you always be honest with you or somebody that you always gotta look at sideways but he can really beat people up you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I don't value to beat people up shit. Now, listen, man. Because he's loyal to the opportunity, like you that's said. That's what I said. Yeah. You know, and, I, and I, 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 still feel, I still feel that way. I still stand on it. And, you know, maybe he'll do something in the future to change my mind. But, yo, man, I doubt it. He's a grown man. You know? And I still, I love being his music. Yeah, I love you know? him. He's definitely my and favorite. And his voice, rapper, dude, his voice is unbelievable. Even listening to I the love podcast, it. you listen to him talk, you're like, I love it. Man, I love shit. It. He I just, love he's him. just not the type Fuck of- Last 24 right hours, I definitely listen to Beans. He's Absolutely. just not the type of individual that I personally could kick it with. Like he said, he said, he said he think I'm a sucker. Yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So why are you having conversations with suckers? Because like I said, when I don't like a person's energy, I don't deal with them. Mm. I just don't. Mm. So Bean is just not the type of person I would deal with. Do you think that he came on the show to try to show you up? I don't know. Do you think so? I mean, I don't know. Because, I mean, when he was on... I don't know. When, when, when he, it's funny, because when he was on Tax on Podcast, he said he wasn't going anywhere else to do any interviews or anything like that. Uh, but then he ended up... I think he reaching a little bit. Coming to the Breakfast Club. He shouldn't be. You know? I don't. He's beans, though. Beans, come on. He's dude, beans, love, but we I don't know him. these rappers. I love him. We don't know rappers. Here's, we think we know rappers because of their music. We don't know who these people are. Here's something I'm that saying, he hurt my feelings. Me. I'm hurting certain things. I'm looking at this yeah. guy. I'm like, 
damn, this ain't the beans that made me do a bunch of push-ups all the time. You yeah, know? So I used to listen to his great. music and do push-ups for, I did thousands of push-ups yeah. for all yeah. this motherfucking yeah. shit. Um, Knocks people out because of beans shit. And then he going to turn around and be this. I think he on drugs, though. You think yeah, he on yeah, drugs? Yeah, I think oh, he's got no, one no, 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 no. I'm thinking about because he got one long. Yeah. I think he on like oxycodone or something like that. Could change your mind. A what little the hell bit. is oxycodone? It's I the can't shit spell. It's, 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 it's over three words. Over, over three letters. That? I can't <laughs> really is, say it. What is right? he box that? <laughs> I pronounce everything. No, oxy is, is what's like terror. It's like uh, what's killing all. I think the I think he's on drugs. I think he's on not drugs like on cocaine or. something I understand what you're saying. I think he's just on prescription drugs. That's probably why he's acting all emotional. It's I know people who do that. It's a possibility. It's not it, the beans I know that I've been rapping here all these years. I mean, look, I, lo I always love beans. I was a huge fan of him growing up, and I'll always love his music. Um, what, but what was something that was you know disconcerting for me when I listened to the interview was uh, he called you a character. Right? Mm -hmm. He goes, "You're a character, Charlemagne. Yep, you're a character. You can't speak on this because you're a character. <laughs> yep." But then he goes in and tells the story about when he got knocked out, and he goes, "Listen, there's Mac." And there's Beanie Siegel, right? And his real name is actually Dwight Grant. Regardless, <laughs> so he got That's three. Two characters. He got three yeah. characters, right? Yeah, 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 so, yeah. but but what? And he goes, Mac does the bad shit. Mac wanted to go get in a car and go take care of that dude. Wanted to kill that motherfucker. No but Beanie, uh, Beanie Siegel, who some was a little more level headed and realized I'm a mature person, etc. So, but and he said it was close to but home. When though. I see that, I go, all you're doing is creating. A character that can get away with the thug shit, and then a character that can fall back. Can fall back. Yeah, 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 so yeah. to me, that's even less real because you're going. No, I, I oh, I'm not going to retaliate that. because he said, I'm being he said beans family, right now. Though. He said he said he was connected to a lot of people in his family. I, no, but if it was I mean, real family, they would have never did that to him. No, and, that's not true. And, and I can't, I get it. No, and I can't man. say that either because I'm going through something right now with my little nephews that want to get one of my dudes. And I'm telling them, like, this is my man. Leave it alone. Yeah, 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 but they yeah. still want to go after and get him. But if they get him, like, it's my fucking nephew. Listen, family You just told on your nephew, Joe. Nah, You've been they, a they civilian too long. Nah, nah, you're not going to get him. Listen, it's a lot, it was a lot of instances. handling shit with fucking violence. Tell your that's family true that. Too. How about that? Right. We don't do that. It's 2016. But if, listen, that's where they at, though. But you're saying that where you live Jesus at. You can't say that where they live at. They live in America. Man, it's fucked up in America. Well, stop making it fucked up then. Start, so they they do it. I, listen, yeah, I mean, listen. we do gotta stop making excuses. I'm not we making, stop making excuses. Where they hey, are, stop fucking where they are, killing people. I understand that, but where they are, I'm Jesus. telling you, I be telling them like, yo, somebody gotta walk me outside. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just the way it is. I wish we go up in there and, and make everybody do the right thing, but it's not gonna happen. Why so not? I'm, I'm be over there slipping or I'm be the one doing the right thing. Guess what? I'm be the one who gets nah, fucked up right. too. You're right. You got to adapt to your environment. You better listen, adapt it's, to it. It's a lot. Of, it's a, it was a lot of inconsistencies and things that Beans was saying. I mean, listen, I said what I had to say to Beans. I ain't got to harp on it no more. The only thing that when I when I listened back to the interview, the only thing that made me be like, wow, Beans, is when he said, um, he talked about doing the reference tracks for Meek and O'Malley. And he said the only reason his voice was on the reference track was because he, the only reason his voice was on the record because he had did a reference track for O'Malley or Meek or whoever. But if you listen to the, his bars that's on there, he goes, don't make me come out of retirement. Meek and O'Malley are far from retiring. So you're lying about <laughs> why your voice was on the record. Yeah, and yeah. I thought, and I, and I didn't catch that in the moment. I, I heard it after the fact. And I'm just like, that's just another brick in the wall of why I can't hurt my feelings. rock with beans. Hurt my feelings. God bless them. I'm going to always listen to his music. I'm going to always respect him as a great rapper. Yeah. But that's why they always say, man, sometimes it's good not to meet your heroes, bro. Yeah, yeah. man. That's yeah. it. You know what was Simple troubling about plain. that shit? When he said, uh, when he was talking about him and Meek, and he goes, this is just music. Like, this beef is just music. Nothing's going to happen. This is just music. You got punched in the face. But you got punched in the mouth. <laughs> like, shit does. And you were about to go kill him. And then you had a convert. Then Mac had a conversation with Beans. And Beans was like, don't do it. So stop acting like it's just music. We know for a fact it becomes more than music, and people get hurt. People's lives get lost, lost off of this shit. But we he's gotta not stop the same making excuses person. For he's the, not the, same the, saddest, the saddest thing about the whole situation is Beans was Beans wasn't even the guy, and he wasn't the star of this movie. Nothing. <laughs> like, he's Brandon like, Jennings. Like you, you really, Damn, you literally came Damn. into the movie, and after an hour and a half, he used of to be a, the star. Two hour film, he used to six man. <laughs> it's like bad, man. It's bad, bro. But God bless Beanie. Uh, everybody go enjoy that Breakfast Club interview. And I don't understand why y'all act like y'all want the truth, but then get mad when the truth is delivered. Because you got some people who like, yo, Charlemagne stood on his shit. Same shit he said to Beanie. He said that, you know, he said about Beanie, he said to Beanie, which I always do, by the way. I don't know why y'all keep questioning me on that. Yeah. And then number two, you got guys like, yo, he shouldn't have did that. 
You know what I'm saying? That was some sucker shit. You know, if if this was Beans from 15 years ago, he'd have never did that. I, I have nothing to do with it. That's like saying LeBron couldn't wouldn't be champion if he was playing in the Jordan era. It's not his fault the era he's in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, it's not my fault. That's who Beans is now, and this is who I am. He's, he's on prescription drugs. He can't I would have, be him. I wouldn't it's have had him. that conversation with Beans if he hadn't gone on Tax Zone's podcast the second time and said something that made me say that. Mm-hmm. I would have never I would have never had anything negative to say about Beans. I just listened to that interview and that was my opinion on it. I just thought he sounded like a hater. And I thought he sounded jealous and envious. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. What else is there to talk about? 